The following program is part of Cable in the Classroom, a free service of the cable communications industry and your local cable company. The shots they make are amazing. The moves incredible. The stamina superhuman. But there's something the NBA doesn't want you to know. This week on ESPN Sports Figures, Vince Carter breaks the wall of silence. There are people who aren't going to be very happy when they hear me say this, but anybody can slam dunk. Join Sports Figures host Jeff Caldwell and Vince Carter for Secrets of the NBA Revealed. Figure. Put your brain in the game. I can do that. That's nothing. My mom could do that one. Easy. These guys do not impress me. Come down, times, come down. Looking good. Oh, yeah. I got you. What? You're probably a way better basketball player than you think you are. Sure, these NBA and WNBA players do all this amazing stuff, but you know what? You could probably do it, too. I'm not kidding. I'll prove it. To help us prove it, we've got former Tar Heel Vince Carter. He's gonna blow the lid off the NBA's dirty little secret. Okay, Vince, what's the big secret? What's the trick to all this superhuman stuff you guys do on a basketball court? Well, I probably shouldn't tell you, because there'll be a lot of unhappy guys around the league. Somebody's gotta take a stand, Vince. Here's your chance. Well, okay. So what is it? What's the secret? We're big. Big? Taller, we have longer legs, and bigger muscles. And that's it? That's it. That makes that sense, makes right? right? If you're if bigger, bigger then basketball, basketball will be an easier, easier game. game. You, see, you see, it's all it's a question, question of scale. scale. Scale is how, is how big, big something, something is in relation, in relation to, to other, other things. things. Hello, Hello, my little man. man. This is a normal NBA basketball. For me, it's not particularly large. I can dribble it, I can shoot it. But for Grace here, it's huge because she's so small. You see, it's all a question of scale, of how big something is in relation to something else. You're probably used to hearing the word scale when we talk about things like model train sets. There's HO scale or N scale, or if you've ever put together a scale model, it may have been 125th scale or 132nd scale. They're called scale because all their parts have been reduced in size by the same amount. HO trains are built to the scale of 1 to 87 inches. That means this door here that's about 1 inch at full scale is about 87 inches. Every piece of the train, the cars, the wheels, the windows, has been reduced in size to 1 inch for every 87 inches of original size. And then when they build a town for it, they build the houses, people, cars, all to that same 1 to 87 scale. That way, everything looks right in relation to everything else. They're in the right proportion. Oh, oh don't eat me. Don't eat me, big man. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so, exactly how tall are you? Six feet, seven inches. That means for Vince Carter, the 10-foot hoop is only three feet, five inches over his head. For me, at 5'10", the hoop is four feet, two inches over my head. For me to dunk, truly, would be superhuman. Ah! And when Vince runs down court, his longer legs are taking way bigger strides, so he gets down court faster and uses less energy than I would. You see, it's all a question of scale. Ah! The way I see it is I could do anything Vince Carter can do if I had a basketball court scaled to my size. All we have to do is build a basketball court in the same proportion to my size as a regulation court is to Vince Carter's size, a Jeff-scale basketball court. 
Like with an HA model train, you have to figure out what scale to make everything at. You could figure out the difference in your sizes and then adjust all the dimensions of the court to that difference. OK, that sounds good. How do we do that? You have to make a ratio. Ah, a ratio. Ratio is a word you're used to hearing, right? In fact, we use ratios all the time. The batting average in baseball? That's a ratio. In basketball, when we talk about field goal percentage. That's a ratio, too. See, a ratio is a comparison by division. That means it compares two things by dividing their numbers. Darn pigeons. If Jeter had 35 hits and was at bat 94 times, we would have a ratio, 35 to 94. That can also be expressed as 35 over 94. That's where the division comes in. Because ratios can also be expressed as percentages, if we divide number of hits by the number of at bats, we get a percentage. Jeter's hitting 370. 370 compares hits to at bats by dividing, a ratio. If Vince has hit 13 of his 19 shots, we would have a ratio of 13 to 19, or 13 over 19. Or dividing 13 by 19 gives us a field goal percentage of 68%. Percentage is a ratio because it's always compared to 100 per cent. Cent as in centennial, as in 100. 62 per 100. So remember, a ratio compares two things by dividing. OK, to build a scale basketball court, you need to take the ratio of my size and yours. OK, so how do we do that? You take our heights. Well, how tall are you anyway? 5 feet 10. That's 70 inches. I'm six foot seven, that's 79 inches. So, our ratio could look like this with the colon in between, or we could go over and under to form a fraction. 70, 79. That's our scale. Remember what we said about HO scale being 187? It's the same thing. Jeff's scale is 70, 79 compared to Vince Carter. We can also divide these. If you divide 70 by 79, you get 0.89 or 89%. That's the ratio of our sizes. You can express it either way. A ratio can be expressed as a fraction, a decimal, or a percentage. A regulation basketball court is 94 feet from end to end. The width is 50 feet. The free throw line is 15 feet. The hoop is 10 feet off the ground. OK, so we know that my ratio to Vince Carter is 89%. Now what? Because you're 89% the size of Vince Carter, the size of the court has to be 89% the size of a regular court. So we have to multiply each dimension of the court by 0.89. To get the length of the court, we multiply 94 feet by 0.89 to get 83.66 feet. Whoa, young fella. Let's round it off to 84. OK, let's run the sidelines. So next is width of the court. So we just do the same thing. The width is 50 feet, so multiplied by 0.89, we get 44 feet. OK. The free throw line is usually 15 feet from the end line. 89% of that is 13 feet. The regulation basket height is 10 feet, so we multiply that by 0.89 to get 9 feet. Now, there's only one more thing to be made to scale. The ball! Check this out. It's not just Vince's height. Look at the size of his hands. Look at the size of my hand on the ball versus the size of his hand on the ball. There's no way I'm gonna have the control he has. We can measure his circumference and just multiply it by 89% too. It's 30 inches around, so that'd be 27 inches. Ah, now that feels more like it. One last thing though, now that the ball's smaller, what does this mean about hoop size? Well, the hoop isn't any different for Vince than it is for you. Right, the hoop is in the same proportion to the ball. Hmm, OK, so how are we going to do that? Well, we can create a ratio for a regulation ball to a regulation hoop. Then we use that ratio for the ball and hoop. A regulation basketball has a diameter of 9 inches, and the hoop's diameter is 18 inches. So we get 9 to 18, or 9 18 That can be reduced by dividing by 9 to 1 half and one divided by two is 0.5, or 50%. So the ball's relation to the hoop is 50%. Our scale-sized ball has a diameter of eight inches, so working backwards, we get a relation of two to one, hoop to ball. We know that the one is the ball, so we can multiply that by eight, 
and we multiplied 2 by 8 to get 16. So the proportional hoop is 16 inches in diameter. This is what it feels like to be Vince Carter. Sort of. On this court, I am now six feet, seven inches tall. Man, look at this. I can get up and down the court fast, just like Vince. I can, I can, pal I can palm the ball very briefly. Jeff from three-point country. The top of the key is only 19 feet. This is child's play. Free throw line, only 13 feet. Dunking. The hoop is only nine feet tall. My mama could dunk at this height. You see, Vince, when I dunk, I like to give it a little extra style. I put a little sauce on. I've got this thing I do with my toes while I'm up there, and I kind of point them a little bit. You know, I kind of, you know how I do. I kind of. Well, slam dunking is great, and it's a wonderful part of the game. But it's more to the game than just slam dunk. Shooting, a three-point shot. You have free throws, playmaking. You know, this is a lot, and if you can accomplish all that, you can become a great player. But I, something to think about. But I just learned how to dunk. I got the little hoop, and I dunk it. On a computer, you can set up a spreadsheet program to calculate scale really easily. You just plug in your scale, say 89%, and then every measurement is automatically scaled down by that amount. When you have a lot of measurements, it makes your life a whole lot easier. And it works both ways, from full size to scale, or from scale to full size. You just have to keep them straight. Uh, fellas, this is not the sink I ordered. OK, guys, so what have we learned? That scale is about the relationship of size between one object and another. And that you can express that relationship in a ratio. Now the ratio is comparison by division because you divide one number by the other to show that relationship. And the ratio can be compared by a colon, like one to four, or like a fraction, like one fourth, or as a decimal, like 0.25, or even as a percent, like 25%. And that we use ratios all the time in sports for things like batting averages and shooting averages. Those are ratios. You could try this at home. Now that you know how to work with ratios, pick your favorite player and create a basketball court scaled as if you were their size. See how good you really are. Okay, so, okay, that's, so that's it. it. We'd, We'd like to thank Vince, Vince Carter, Carter for donating, donating his time today. today. Also, also our students, our students Corey, Corey, Angela, Angela Larry, Larry, Erica, Erica Stephen, and Ashley, for helping, for helping us out on ESPN, ESPN Sports, Sports Figures Scale, scale basketball. basketball. We'd like to thank all the sports figures who participated in today's show free of charge. ESPN Sports Figures is presented commercial free for educators to tape and use in the classroom. Comments or questions about sports figures? Drop us a note at ESPN Plaza, Bristol, Connecticut, or the email address on your screen. To order a free teacher's curriculum, call 860-766-2000. Or better yet, go to the Sports Figures website for all sorts of cool stuff. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com, part of the Go Network. Or go.com. Sports figures put your brain in the game. The preceding program is part of Cable in the Classroom, a free service of the cable communications industry and your local cable company.